In this lecture, we will talk about how can we add sprites on this playground of game lab. So what you can do, you can come on this animation parts and here you will get to see this uh, new animation tab. When you hit this uh, plus icon over here, automatically you are going to get redirected to this beautiful animation library. Here in this animation library, you will get to see several groups. Now in each group, you can find different kind of sprites. Let's visit this animals group. So these are the various animals sprites which are present in this animation library of game lab. Now uh, let's select one of these sprites. I am going to select, uh, let's select this one. So this is how you can add any sprite in this animation workspace of game lab. Now if you want to rename this sprite what you can do you just have to select this whole name and you can replace it like this. Okay so that's how you can rename uh, the sprite fine which you have added to the animation workspace of game lab. Now when you will come on this coding panel and you will run this game you will not be able to see that sprite which you have added in this animation workspace of game lab over here on this playground of game lab. Why is it so? It is just because we haven't defined the code with which we can access uh, this sprite over here on the playground of this game lab. Now for accessing the sprite on this playground, what we guys can do, we guys can make use of these two blocks which uh, you are seeing over here uh, in this sprite section of toolbox. Now let's uh, put this one first over here in the workspace of game lab. Now here what we have done, we have defined a variable okay, with name sprite. And then we there is a function named create sprite which is going to help us in creating a sprite at this position. So these are the coordinates of the point where the sprite is going to get created by this function create sprite. Okay. Now if you want to set uh, this sprite, this sprite, if you want to uh, store it in this variable, then what you have to do? you have to make use of this block. So it is going to set the animation for you in this variable. Now let's convert it back into block based coding. Now if you will come over here and you'll hit this uh, drop down, you will get to see that uh, name which you have given to this sprite over here, bird. Right. So you can uh, select that bird from this drop down like this and now what will happen this set animation function is going to set this animation to this variable and finally this whatever animation you have set this create function will create that at this point 200 by 200 okay now how can we draw that sprite on this playground because you know now also if you will run this game you will not be able to see that sprite over here on this playground now if you want to draw that sprite on this playground what you can do you can come on this uh, world world area and there is a function called draw which you guys can make use of for drawing the sprites on this playground whatever sprites you have uh, stored in any variable if you want to draw them on this playground definitely you guys need this function called draw and after that you can make use of this draw sprites function and put it inside this function draw like this now when you will hit this run button you will be able to see the sprite which you added in this in this animation workspace of game lab over here on this playground like this so that's how you can add any sprite in the animation area and with the help of these four things remember this variable 
plus you have to set the animation then it is this function draw which you have to use draw sprites is going to help you in drawing all the sprites on this playground okay so these are the four blocks you have to keep in mind now if suppose you want to add any custom sprite to your game how can you do that so for doing that what you can do you can come on this google first okay and here you can uh, write down something like if suppose you want to add parrot suppose so what you can do you can write down parrot like this over here and then you can come on this images part so here uh, you'll get to see some very beautiful images right uh, let's uh, select one of these images I am selecting this one for now you just have to click on this image automatically it is going to open up in a bigger window like this now what you have to do you have to right click on this image automatically you're going to come across this beautiful cascading menu from where you have to select this copy image option okay once you are done with copying this image Come back on this game labs animation workspace and then you need to hit this new animation tab again. So from here what you have to do you have to select this draw your own option now. So automatically a new animation a space is going to get added like this. Now here what you can do you can uh, click on this space and you have to press ctrl and v together for pasting the image which you copied from that google images. When you hit this next button automatically the image is going to come like this on this workspace. Fine. Now what you have to do, come on this coding panel, okay, and instead of this bird, now we are going to select animation underscore one. Let's hit this run button and see what is going to happen. So we are able to see this parrot getting reflected over here, right? Now we are not able to see the whole image. So what you can do, the size of this image is very large. So in order to see it properly you can reduce the size of this image now how to reduce the size of an image come on this sprites part and here you will get to see uh, this sprite dot scale block you can take it and put it just below this uh, set animation block and here you can set the scale Let's set the scale to 0.5 and see what is going to happen. So see, this is pride dot scale has reduced the size of this image to 0.5. By default, it is 1. Okay, so it has reduced the size to 0.5. Let's search for some other image on this Google images. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. These are some of the beautiful images you can come across. Let us select uh, this one for now. We have to first copy the image, right? So for copying the image, we need to right click on this image and come on this copy image option. Once you're done with copying the image, we, again we have to come on this game lab and let's hit this new animation tab. And now let's hit this draw your own option now here i am going to add that copied image okay so this is how the image is going to look like when it will come in this animation workspace of game lab now in order to access this image what you can do you can change this to the name with which you have saved this mickey mouse animation so it is saved with animation underscore 2 so I that's the reason I selected animation underscore 2 over here let's now run this game so as you can see the 
image is visible to us over here on this playground. Let's change the name of this variable over here. So I'm changing it to BG. Let's run this game. And as you can see, the mouse is still getting reflected on this playground. So it means that whatever name you want to give, you can give that name to your variable. Fine. Okay. So this Mickey Mouse is looking very small right now. Let's uh, change the size to 0.8. So now this is how it is going to look like. So it is looking very beautiful right now. Isn't it? Okay, so next thing that I'm going to tell is how can you change the background of this playground? For doing this, what we can do, we can uh, make use of this background color option, which you can easily find in the drawing parts of the toolbox. Now I'm going to uh, put it right below this draw sprites like this. And let's change the color to black. Let's see what is the output, what kind of output we are going to get now. So you know, this is what you're going to see on the playground. So it is completely black and we are not able to see the sprites. Why is it so? Because we have defined the background on the sprites. Over the sprites, we, are def we have defined this background. So that is the reason we are not able to see that Mickey Mouse sprite. If you want to see that Mickey Mouse sprite, what you can do, you can cut it and then you can put it before this draw sprites block. So now what is going to happen, you will be able to see this Mickey Mouse sprite getting reflected like this on the playground. The only thing which is looking odd to me is this white background, right? It is not at all looking good. So how can we eliminate this white background over here, which is uh, getting reflected just below this Mickey Mouse's image? Let's reset this game and understand the process which we guys can follow for removing that white background. What do you have to do? You can come on this animation workspace, select this uh, Mickey Mouse's animation. And now here there are various tools which you guys can see in the toolbox of this animation workspace. So what you can do, you can make use of this uh, eraser tool for erasing the background. Click on this eraser tool and select one color from here. So we don't want any color, right? We don't want to see any color in the background of this Mickey Mouse. The background should be transparent. Now, how can you make the background of this Mickey Mouse transparent? So for that, you can uh, hit this, you can select this option over here and then you can slowly rub this whole background like this. Fine. So this is one way of removing the background. Now, if you will do it like this, it is going to take a lot of time. So what you can do, you can change the shape of the eraser. Now, how can you change the shape of this eraser? So you can increase it like the, you can select this one. And now you will see that we are able to eliminate a bigger part of this uh, white background, right? So this is one way of eliminating this white background. Now the second way is you guys can make use of this rectangle selection tool also. Click on this rectangle selection tool and select the whole part which you want to eliminate from this image. So this is how you can select the part and then you just have to press the delete key present on your keyboard and that's how the selected part is going to get deleted permanently. Similarly, you can do the same thing here also. So now it's a rectangular portion which you are deleting. Okay. Now third way is to make use of this lasso selection tool, which is just like a freehand tool you can make use of. So easily, you know, you can select the whole part which you want to get rid of. So you're done with, uh, you know, selecting the space just have to press delete key 
automatically the whole part is going to get deleted like this okay so i'm done with removing this whole background fine and now the background of this image is completely transparent let's come on this coding workspace and run this game so as you can see now that white background is no more visible to us so that's how you can make your game more attractive okay right now we are able to see only one of the three sprites right if you want to see all the three sprites over here or all the sprites which you have defined in the animation workspace over here on the playground of this game lab what do you have to do you have to define individual variables for all these sprites which you want to access on this playground let me show it to you practically how can you do that you just have to copy uh, these two lines and before this function draw just put it like this okay and then you can rename this variable because bg we are using for animation underscore 2 now for the there are two more sprites which are there present in this animation workspace one is with id bird and the second with name animation underscore one so let's uh, define a variable for that uh, bird first let's write down bird here also i am writing bird let's set the animation for this variable so i'm setting it to bird and you know when you run this game so this is how it is going to look like now why it is coming over this mouse it's just because the coordinates of these two sprites are same here also it is 200 by 200 and here also it is 200 by 200 uh, let's see what can we do for getting this board reflected at this point so let's check the coordinates first of this point how can we do that just have to bring your cursor over here and right in the bottom of this reset button you will be able to see show grid and below that you can see the x and y value of the point where the cursor is at present so it is 50 by 30 right let's make the required changes over here so i'm changing this to 50 and this one i am changing to 30. let's run this game and see what are, what is the kind of output we are going to get so you know this is what you will get to see we are not able to see the whole bird what we can do we can make use of uh, this sprite dot scale option for scaling down the size of the bird okay let's uh, scale it down to 0.7 now also it is not coming properly right so what we can do we can shift it somewhat down if i'm bringing my mouse downwards what is happening only the value of y is getting affected so if you want to bring it down what you can do you can change the value of y that is 30 to let's say 94 let's reset this game and run it one more time uh, that's where you will get to see the bird now now its tail is uh, still not getting uh, reflected properly so let's change the x x value to uh, 78 okay so now it is coming properly fine let's do the same thing for the third sprite that is the parrot sprite so i am i'm copying this whole code from here and i'm going to put it over here like this this time i'm using this parrot as variable for uh, accessing that parrot sprite which i have saved in the wo animation workspace with name animation underscore one let's now run this game and see what are we going to get so you know this is how you're going to uh, see the output over here now as you can see this parrot has covered both the sprites which we have defined before the sprite of this parrot now what we can do in order to get rid of this issue we can change the size to point to 
from 0.4 let's see what's gonna happen so see the size has got reduced and now this Mickey Mouse is somewhat visible to us let's change the coordinates of this uh, image it's this parrot's image so for doing that we can um, suppose if we want to get it reflected over here so the coordinate of this point is r third 308 by 308 so I'm changing this to 308 and this also I am changing it to 308 let's run this game so now this is how you're going to see it let's reduce this parrot's size to 0.1 so now this is the way you are going to see all the three sprites over here on this playground area. Okay, so this is it for this lecture. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.